We're continuing our discussion on area, and this time we're looking at compound shapes. Here's your checklist, and that is to try to calculate the area of compound shapes. All right, let's begin the lesson. So to calculate the area of a compound shape, we need to split the shape into regular figures and then find the sum of the smaller areas. So here we have this L looking figure, and to find the area of this, we are going to split this into two rectangles, find the area of those rectangles, and then add everything together. So here we split the shape into two. And now the area of the first rectangle is two by six, and the area of the second rectangle is eight by four. We add this together, and we get that the area of the compound shape is 44 centimeters squared. Now let's head into our second example. Uh, warning, this one is very involved, so feel free to pause it in lots of places. You can also take it back if you want, or you can also put it down and try it again at a different time. Regardless, I do encourage you to stick with this one all the way to the end. It will help you with a lot of other questions. Okay, so let's see. So here we have this almost parallelogram looking shape. And how we are going to find the area of this is that we are going to split it into three shapes. So now we have two right-angled triangles and a rectangle. We are going to find the area of each region and then add them all up to find the area of the shape. So to start, we'll do the area of the rectangle. This is the easiest one. So we do length by width. That gives us 12 by five, which is 60 centimeters squared. The next thing we'll do is find the area of the top triangle, and this is half base by height. The area of the top triangle will be half of 12 times 2, which gives us 12 centimeters squared. Okay, not too bad, not too bad so far. Just one more to go. So we want to find the area of the bottom triangle, and this is again half base times height. We know the base of the triangle we will get that from the rectangle. So the base of the triangle is 12. So we have half of 12 times height, but we don't know the height of the triangle. So let's just go to one side and look at the information that we do have. So here's the triangle and we have the base of 12 centimeters and we have the hypotenuse of 13 centimeters. So if you look closely here, the fact that we have a right angle triangle hints to us that we can use the Pythagoras' theorem. And using that theorem, we have that the height squared is equals to 13 squared minus 12 squared. So that gives us that the height squared is 25, therefore the height is five. We can plug this height back into our equation from before, and we have that the area of the bottom triangle is one half by 12 times five, and that gives us 30 centimeters squared. So altogether, we have that the area of the compound is the area of the top triangle plus the area of the rectangle plus the area of the bottom triangle. This gives us 24 plus 60 plus 30, which in the end is 114 centimeters squared. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe here if you want to get the latest from the Caribbean Scholar YouTube channel, or if you're ready, you can use the link in the description to hop onto our website and sign up for one of our premium courses.